Secure a nice area of the map down bottom for the Monkey King to farm in as mid. Central kept alive. There's the deny on the tower as they bring down the Visage with the Winter's Curse. The Stomp to hold the Morphling in place. Don't know if they've got enough to sustain and keep that damage going onto Esk as he turns. Looks for... Looks for the adaptive strike on a sword. Centaur running away now, though, as he knows the Necro is inbound. Turns, looks for the stomp. They've got the false promise to buy him time. Well played. By Grimms to make move forward. But the Pugna, the Netherboard, stops any kind of initiation until finally Jano does jump in. Roshan down to 2.7k HP. The Necro being blown up, but there's the lasso. The BKB and the PA will buy some time. Dragged out all the way from the fight. And the cold embrace from Sladin buys himself some time. But the Morphling going wild. Big damage towards that poor Winter Wyvern. In the back, we've got Sexy Man running away from it. Fritz Monkey King and the Batrider rejoining. With a good couple of crits and a false promise, the PA might be able to stand her ground, but it looks like they're in full retreat mode. They are two versus three. In comes the familiars of the Visage. Esk is dominating now. A double kill and a mega streak. 5 0. Plenty of buybacks here for the Radiant team. Everyone except the PA has it. PA? PA just bought something. Oh, she's buying out the Reaper Scythe. Hello and goodbye. Sword is gone. Has buyback available, but in comes the Wukongs. Ifrit into the back lines. Looks for Wu. Very nearly gets the job done, but the Batrider chasing forward. Will be turned around on by the Centaur with a Blink Stomp and the kill with the Decrep. Bloody what? That double edge. Holy crap. Centaur in a bit of trouble himself, though. His sword is leapt upon. The dieback becomes a reality as Gorilla's Pride need to bail and uh, escape into their fountain. We still have the Aegis. We do. We still have the cheese. We do. Centaur stomp from the Morphling in on to that poor, poor little Pugna. Triple kill for S. Ready finger on the trigger. Gets a good curse. Necro gets caught. Very little follow through though. And now they jump in. Went to Wyvern. It will pay for his sins. Dead for 50 seconds. A blink lasso into the bottom side of the map and the Phantom Assassin. There you're gone. Dead with no buyback. Monkey King goes wild. GG is called and game one. They're going again. They've got a 2k net worth lead but if they lose out on fights like this with a big Ravage connecting onto four. Huskar's in the back and the False Promise keeps the Ursa up and running. Black Reaper now turns to battle but look at the hordes. Oh, it's a big Burrow strike in from the Sand King. Jano's still up and running, but Black Reaper in so much trouble. Even with a four-man epicenter, the sexy man coming back in to mop up. Try and clear up this Charlotte lineup, because they have been left weak and abused. Another Burrow strike, but it whiffs, and the Abaddon comes in again. A triple kill off the side blades. The Templar Assassin. Open up the barracks. Tide finds the Nyx with some really nice Visage familiar stuns from Hector actually stopping that TP and now the swap, Black Reaper, the Huskar is in the middle of them all, his BKB is going, the Halberd gives him the evasion on that Meld Strike, it looked like Esk missed out on it but the Ravage will come through, catching two, in on the back, Wu's gone and so is Sword, gets the burst Strike before he dies. But it's poor Black Reaper Huskar. Yes, he's full HP now, but he's in the middle of five bloody dire heroes. TA getting chased back by the Ursa Warrior. Popped out. Geno couldn't quite keep her alive. But with three heroes surviving. There's Ursa Warrior. Wait, Black Reaper's getting a triple kill from the grave. Burning Spears killing everybody. What on earth is going on? Ifrit now wants Black Reaper Huskar. Out in the open. Swap is there onto the Oracle. They've got the stuns, the Ravage. Perfect. Oracle dead for 45. And now the Huskar. He's kind of left here with no save. Sword in the back end somehow. Jumps in, dies. One versus five. Black Reaper swapped in yet again. The Halberd there to turn around. Disarm on the TA, but the damage is done. The Soul Assumption not connecting. Black Reaper still alive. And this Ursa takes down Ifrit. It's a problem for the dire side. The sexy man Ursa, but Esk is up to the challenge.